Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with very very hard beast to tame. We are going to play with the MyX 5100 and I can promise you that this tank is something else. This tank is extremely hard tank to play with and I think it is outdated to the maximum. Anyways, last time we played with this vehicle on August 2022, so approximately 8 months ago. But I'm getting a lot of questions about this tank and people are complaining about this vehicle quite a bit. And I can tell you one thing, yes it is hard tank to play with. You have no armor, it's taking 44 seconds for you to fully reload your magazine, your gun handling is quite a pile of cacos, so you kind of need to spam the full gold ammunition. There is a lot of, a lot of, a lot of things which, uh, which is just not right about this tank, right? And yes, some why is significantly better than this vehicle to the huge extent, and considering that this vehicle can get matched against the, let's say, Škoda is beyond me, you know? This tank should see the same the same vehicle in the best case scenario this is how am i um looking into all of this anyways when we had our mini rant when i explained that this vehicle is extremely hard tank to play with um and overall it is just a stinker of the vehicle uh, when we have this out of the way, let's try to focus on the game and let's try to make this tank work. So what is the role of this vehicle? This tank is a heavy tank without any armor whatsoever, right? So what you need to do, since you have pretty bad gun handling, your duty and your mission is to go somewhere in the heavy line and try to catch enemies whoever are making a bad decisions, right? As an example, Love is speaking about against the Love, right? You have Love, enemies have Love. Enemy Love is speaking, uh, your Love is taking a shot and you are clipping the living crap out of them. That's only way how you can kind of make this tank work by using others as your meat shield to the certain extent, right? I know it sounds very, very, very badly, but this is how you are playing with this tank, right? Um, it's just how I feel like this tank should work. I had some games before, before everything just to remember how this tank is working and it's dreadful. I was missing so many shots and whenever you are making a mistake or let's say you are not fully aiming or something, it's game over. Defender sniping from the back, good one. Anyways, uh, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say it is extremely hard to make this vehicle work. It truly is. And believe me, I am not saying that about every single tank in this game, but this tank deserves a highlight that it is so bloody hard to make it work. You know, it just simply deserves it. I do not know, um, I probably do not know harder tier 8 tank which would be actually more difficult to play. Even tanks like TVP, what and what not, even those tanks are kind of uh, um, better suited for a game than Amaxis in the current meta. This is how hard it is to play with this tank. If I am saying, uh, if I am mentioning TVP Watu and I'm saying TVP Watu is better than this tank, you can only imagine how bad this vehicle is, right? So, yeah. Anyways, uh, so far we started our game by losing um, four, 450 hit points for the enemy defender who is sniping from the base, uh, but that is okay. We are not going to give up and we are just starting our journey. Um, I am loading the gold clip at this point and hopefully hold cl uh, gold clip will uh, um, make me feel tiny touch better speaking about uh, what this tank is capable of doing and uh, how you can play with this vehicle to begin with, right? That's what I am hoping for. Meanwhile, luckily this 50dp who was brave, he took one for the team, his gun, absolutely glorious, it is amazing. At this point, I want to go on top of the hill and hopefully I won't get outspotted by the enemy forces, as an example, this T-44 or whoever else. I am very, very well aware of enemy ISU sniping from the back and I will keep this in mind. Um, and I will try not to fall for his trap in a way as well, right? It is important thing to say. You see, since the game... It 
since the games are quite um, quick nowadays, you need to have uh, some sort of longer reload time overall. At least this is how I feel like. Aha. Uh -huh. Beautiful. We caught this guy. He, I can bet he did not expect me blind shooting the whole clip in the bush. That is very, very good. And now we are going on the reload. Listen, all of the guys are spotted. There is nothing for us to do in this, uh, in this position apart relocating. We are going to relocate properly and hopefully we can get another clip uh, uh, to maybe Defender or Shrek or M40, whoever else we are going to clip. Okay, so we have a chance to clip a Shrek. That's about it. I do not really care about them sitting here. Probably I should, but I just don't. I just do not really mind those guys sitting in this position. And in the same time, we are going to craft a bit better angles for ourselves and in the same time for our team as well, right? Look at this beauty. Okay, Gusor is getting involved. Gusor is eliminating this guy from the game. How about if we would go like so? By the way, this tank is not a spotter. This tank is pretty much the damage dealer. But in this kind of situation, this is the best play which I can make, uh, uh, considering everything is going so hardly for us, right? Oh, what a hard tank. What a hard tank. Believe me, I'm far away from saying this about every single vehicle. Okay, so, at this point we need to make pressure. Hopefully we will be able to spot Shrek whenever he will shoot us and then we can have a blast and we have a good time, right? Shrek spotted, hip hip hooray and Shrek dead. Oh, what a game. Oh, what a game. And listen, I was trying to use my brain. I tried not to make the worst trades by any shape or any form and I was there ready for the um, for the carry with this vehicle, right? Uh, but it happened to be that in the end game, there was nothing to do. Luckily, we have a blind shots to ISU. Uh, that is the most positive thing from this game. So we managed to push it to 2.1000 damage and 100 assisting damage. This is how hard it is to play with this tank. I'm not making this stuff up, fellas. So in the end of the day, we are fourth by experience. We are fourth by the damage very hard. And we made 19,000 profits. It's okay. It's first game. The second game will get better, right? Or will it? Let's go. Well... Maybe not better, who knows, they're 10 much making minds, oi, 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 yeah, I'm telling you, whenever I am saying MX5100 is that hard, I truly mean it, you know, I'm not telling you um, nonsense stories, anyways, what is our goal, we will try to go on the island, and hopefully from the island we will be able to craft some sort of position to um, simply clip enemies out uh, or something, we will see, time will show everything, but at this point we need to be very, very smart. We need to be smart, fellas. I do not want to make any silly goose pressure whatsoever because it's just simply not worth it. What I want to do, I want to sit here. And I want to have a decent enough angle to punish enemies whenever they are messing up. But in the same time, I cannot, I cannot make any mistakes myself, right? So this is making, um, this is making our experience even harder. Sure thing, going on top of the hill can work, but it is just. The risk is way too high, pretty much. That's what I'm trying to say. Favas lurking in the background. Scorpion, Susa, Arta, oi oi. Oi oi, fellas. Way too risky. So what we are doing, we are just patiently waiting until enemies will mess up. I can smell a mess up. I would love to see this guy. I 
I need him to go back. I need this guy to go back somehow. This is the best way how we can how we can do something. Kill making pressure with this tank is not an option. It's not an option. Unfortunately, fellas, it's not an option. If it would be if it would be an option, I would be already on my way. Mm hmm great one guy down this is what we want to see and this is what we want to do meanwhile centurion is making quite a bit of pressure like so oyopterai oyopterai pava actually hit his shot oh that could be oh well as that could have been very very bad that could have been extremely bad. Luckily, it was not the case. Okay, let's see. Now, our goal is going to be to wait until the Centurion will say, Yep, I'm ready to go. This is what I am waiting for. I understand about this bush in front of us. Believe me, I am very, very well aware of that. Uh, but there is nothing what I can uh, do to protect myself if he has good view range to outspot me. There is absolutely nothing what I can do. Although there is a chance we will spot him as well, right? So that would be absolutely glorious. I'm spotted myself, I do not really mind. And we are getting 666 assisting damage. In this game, fellas, I am behaving like a heavy pussy. This is how I am behaving. All I need to do... Or all I need to say, I need to say meow for a full happiness. I just simply have no chance to make any pressure whatsoever. I am bottom tier. I am bottom tier, fellas. I have literally no armor. I am on the mercy of the enemy incompetence in a way. This is This is how it looks like. I could try to take this position here, but this is way, way, way too risky. And we need to beg pretty much for a Scorpion and TVP what all to help for us. Yeah, a skill. Are you really begging for TVP what all help? Yes. Yes, exactly, fellas. I am begging for TVP what all help. Have you have you ever thought the day will come like this that tvp watu is the best tank which could help you hmm beautiful beautiful this is exactly what I want to see. I want them to be aggressive. If they are being aggressive, we can play. Come on. Oh, fire? Maybe more fire? A bit of the ramming. Till the end of this game, game over. Oi, 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 oi. Okay, look. Looking into this game, luckily we managed to get the last full clip. That's all we could have done. This is mines. This is tier 10 matchmaking. Um, not much what we can change about this, fellas. There is nothing what we can do about that, right? So, we are finishing this game with a chin up. We are accepting Pirosami assisting damage and we are checking out the score. Ooh, hard one. Okay, let's see the score. 2.5 thousand damage, 666 assisting damage. We are feeling very, very happy. Fellas, in this situation, I'm not even feeling bad how I play this game. Okay, we have 400 experience. We have, uh, um, we are 
pretty much second by experience we are third by the damage and we made 4000 credits by playing this game what a game this was so far fellas after two games our performance is 2.3 thousand damage and 400 assisting damage and you know what is the finest part of all this we are going towards 100 percent performance uh, we are going towards 100 percent uh, mark of excellence with this performance nuts well last game hopefully the best let's go okay last but not least we have outpost standard battle okay let's see what we can do this is this is a struggle fellas it's not like i'm on the chill mode i'm actually try harding to play with this vehicle i'm not joking fellas i am try harding to play with this tank it's not a chill experience for me it is a pure sweating and even with a pure sweating the score is not that high when we are thinking about it right okay let's see what we can do let's see what we can do so the first things first i want to take this corner and from this corner i will try to punish the person who is trying to go up here usually there is at least one gentleman who is thinking yeah it is a great idea to go up like this and i am hoping we are going to meet tiger too whatever something easy to penetrate Something easy to penetrate. Tiger 2 is not here, so maybe Baza 166? Possibly, maybe? That would be great. Hmm, patience. We're just waiting. Soon we will need to relocate, unfortunately, because if enemies are pushing the heavy line, we are going to have a problem. Okay no one is in the heavy line really i mean what what they might have in the heavy line okay baza is camping as well so listen um uh, there is nothing for us to do here so we are allocating completely we are relocating completely and we are trying to find a bit better angle once again i have a feeling simply no one is playing here and whenever I have a feeling of this, then we are going to play accordingly. Usually, if you would go here in the first minute of the game, you can get completely banged and you will forget your name, you know? This is not the play which you want to do. But in the same time, if it happened to be that enemies literally have no one sitting in the heavy line, that means this position is free. And that means you can actually do something bad. Skill, I have a question. Why are you not pushing heavy line? That is a great question. Thank you very much for asking. And the answer is, it's not worth it. It is just simply not worth it. In fact, I can see this cover 4 trying to get involved. And he doesn't know one thing, uh, which we know. We have plenty of the sniper schnitzels here in the back. In fact, I changed my mind. Unless I would load gold. And yet still it is hard. So far, looking into our play, there is no mistakes which enemies has done, okay? This is important thing to highlight. There is no mistakes whatsoever. And that is making our performance significantly harder. I mean, probably the enemies are making mistakes just in the other side, away from us, right? This is what is happening. I'm sitting peacefully in the bush and I am just simply, well, not even in the bush. I'm just sitting here peacefully and I'm waiting until enemies will mess up. And luckily enemies messed up while I'm on them. Well, luckily he messed up whenever I'm on the reload. Not exactly what I want to see, but that's what we have. I will go for blind shots now. Definitely not hitting those. Let's relocate. The thing is, whenever enemy Baza 166 will be eliminated from this game, we can start um, putting a bit of pressure for the enemies. Right? That's what we can do. And yes, it is complicated. Yes, it is annoying. That's only one play which we could actually make here. 
I think the best idea for us at this point is to take this position here and try to find uh, a good angle for Mr. Bizonte. If Bizonte is not going to sit here, what we are going to do, we are going to make pressure on Baza. After we are done with Baza, we will start clipping them in the ass. You need to be passive-aggressive with this tank. That's what you need to do. You need to be passive-aggressive. And what a journey this is. And what a journey this is, fellas. I'm making pressure. Even if Bizonte will hit me once in the face, I do not really mind. I just need to eliminate this bzzz. I just need to eliminate this bzzz at this point. No bzzz here. Oi, 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 oi. Bzzz relocated. Oh well. I'm taking my time to aim. You should be able to eliminate him. Nice. He's out of the game. Pushing like this is literally suicide. I cannot do that. I cannot afford to make pressure like this. It is just not a good idea. Mr. Mars. Mars is dead. We are going on the reload. Okay. So far... So far, we are okay. Still, what do you mean you are okay? You have 300 damage. Listen, we are alive. And we are trying to do our best, okay? That's what I mean by saying we are okay. The score-wise, it is going to be a brutal game. But I think this is actually okay to show uh, that playing with this tank is a rocket science. You know, this is what I am feeling. And this is what I am thinking. By the way, have I mentioned Artas can beat the living crap out of you whenever you are playing with this tank as well? Here you go. One more, one more thing to mention, right? Please, RNG, let me kill him. Excellent. And now we know the Lorraine is sitting here in the bush. Udes gave us information from where he got slaughtered, at least I hope so. Good. Three more in the magazine. What we can expect, we can expect enemies to try to push on us, right? That's what we could expect. Oh, what a game. What a session. I cannot make cap pressure because I do not really have a camo. I know it sounds weird how you cannot make cap pressure, you can't. Any cap pressure will lead, uh, will lead enemies to come. And we do not really have any support whatsoever, right? So this is this is definitely a humongous problem. And do this. That's it. Fellas, this is this is the performance with the MX5100. I am not making this up that it is the hardest tier A tank to play with. It is so brutal. It is so dependent on the team. Playing, playing with this vehicle solo is like showing disrespect for yourself in the current world of tanks. What a brutal experience that was. Horrible. Okay, fellas. That was the last game. Let's see the score. Let's see the average performance. It's going to be brutal, but it happens. I... 
want to show you not everything is so easy as you might think it is and sometimes it doesn't matter that you are try harding it doesn't matter you are working your butt off it just simply doesn't work that well right and this is the situation with this vehicle truly it it costed quite a bit of nerves for me to play with this tank honestly and last game is just um I just want to remind you one thing. With this vehicle, you are doing 1.8 thousand damage from the clip. 1.8 thousand damage. And I died with... I think I have blind shot, so 1.1 thousand. I have quite a bit of experience in the game, you know? 200 thousand games. Madness. Okay, 1.1 thousand experience, 4 kills, 200, um, 200 uh, spotting. We are fourth by experience. We are in the first half by the damage. Uh, we lost 20,000 credits. And our session was 2,000 damage and 300 assisting damage. I will have a nightmares after this session and after this tank. It wasn't enjoyable. And if you can skip this tank, I would highly recommend to do so. Horrible vehicle overall. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed my pain. I hope you had a great time. That's all I have for you to say, fellas. Amaix beat me. I did not make it work. Okay.